So we take a very small section of the hair at the top and then we fold that over the top of the heatless curl sash and back in and around. And then we take a section similar size to the front, making sure that we almost go underneath the sash when we grab the hair so that we don't end up with any straight bits. And back in and around. So a lot of people have been asking how tight they need to do it. They've got, you know, maybe a loose wave instead of a, an actual curl. Um, the fact of the matter is, is you don't really want to see too much of the sash in between the hair. So we want to really bring that quite tight. Keep the sash as straight as possible as you're doing it. You don't want that curling around as well. Then we just take another section from the front of the hair. Again, making sure we move slightly underneath where the sash is and bring it back over, allowing that sash to sit nice and flat. We bring it under and from the back and we can actually just pull that underneath. So the easier way rather than twisting your hands constantly is just pull it underneath with that and you'll see again I try and keep that sash straight, pull it over and you'll notice you don't see much of the sash in between each curl and that is how you'll get a really nice kind of spiral rather than having loose waves. Again pull straight under, grab the section at the back and we're just grabbing a bit of that halo so we've got down to the halo. Separate that up a little bit, bring it out and around. Again, making sure we don't see too much here. We'll grab the next section of the halo because that's kind of pulling itself in anyway. Now you'll see that this naturally wants to twist with the hair. Um, we really need to make sure that that's not twisting because when it's got to sit there on its own at the end, um, it'll unravel itself a little bit more. So. We just want to try and avoid that a little bit. We take the last little sections of the hair, again pulling it in and around quite tightly. You don't need to pull it so tightly that it's uncomfortable, it shouldn't be uncomfortable. It should just be tight in the fact that you don't see the sash. Again, that sash is trying to twist, so we keep that straight and we pull it around until all of the hair has made its way. to the base. And we just tie off the base. So unlike the second method, you kind of want to make sure that that last little bit of hair is also twisted. So the, the second method that we're going to show, um, Kylie mentions that you know, you can keep the end a little bit straight with the wave. With this one, we don't want to have too much of the hair sticking out at the bottom. We want that to be a full curl. So if you have really thick, long hair, this is a really good method to get those big, luscious curls, really voluminous curls. And then basically, that sits there. You can either hold onto it with one hand if someone else is doing your hair for you, or you just leave it there.